Hi everyone, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I think it's really, really pretty. This card is made using the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. It comes in a pack of two, or two boxes, which I think is really nice. But today I'm going to be using this, the big flower. The sentiment I've got from a really old, old one, and that's only because I do like this happy birthday. I think you've seen me use it loads of times before. The background, I've used this waterfront wash retired stamp. Don't use it enough, so I thought I'd use that. The card base you'll need a five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths square card folded in half and burnished this is actually thick whisper white that I got off in with um, a paper pack we got from Katie Freeman and then these are not one of them's not been cut down I'll use the one that's cut down and trim the other one to go inside afterwards so you need a card base of five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths uh, which is actually an A4 cut at five and seven eighths and folded in half and a piece of white at five and five eighths by five and five eighths I'll give you a board all the way around and it's this we're going to be working on today on this one I actually did um, cut out two of these and glued one straight down and I thought what did I do that for when I could have stamped straight on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp straight on. But that does mean I need a mask for the flower. Because I don't want any of the wash inside the flower. So I need a bit of paper. don't think they're big enough. Oh, I might get the flower out on that. But we'll see. So, and for this I am going to be using Memento black ink, Tuxedo black, ink it up really well, and I'm going to lay that like that there. That's quite a big stamp this. Something was rattling in me. Box at the side of me. Yeah, that would do lovely. And then what we need to do is stamp another one and cut it out. Well, I have already done that, so I'm not going to stamp another one. But what I will do is place this over the flower just so I can cut that out and have a mask. my stamp off nice and clean put that to one side and put it, put it away these stamps are so big Keeping the box, I might have to put them in the 
I've actually separated the dies between two packets. I think that's my block away. And then this one we'll colour in with that one. And we'll place that there. So we'll colour that in in a minute. But first I need to cut this out. Like I said, I'm just going to cut the flower out. The leaves I'm not worried about because we're going to colour them green anyway. As you can see I just roughly cut this out. I don't worry about lines or anything. It's actually better if you do cut inside the flat line. Oh yeah. Hopefully, we'll go over there. Now we need to stick that down, so I should get my temporary glue pen that might be dried up. And just place that on there. I think I need to get another one out. And then we need our wash stamp. Now, what I plan on doing this one, I'm going to face it that way, is on here I did a blue wash and petal pink flowers. On this one I'm going to do a pink, petal pink wash and blue flowers. So I've got my petal pink ink here. Ink it all up. And then what I did, I stamped off lightly now we've got none there I want some there and a little bit there yeah that's fine that's quite nice, I like that. So, wash the stamp. Wash it. You know what I mean. Clean the stamp off. Close the ink. Put that away. And put that away. And lift this off. going to colour these in. So get started. We're going to colour the leaves in. Old olive light. I 
as you can see why I wasn't bothered about the leaves having a bit of petal pink in because once we colour over it with old olive it can't be seen This one's got quite a lot of petal pink in it. That's all right. Right, I've got to do the same on this one. Doesn't take long to do this, she says. Half an hour later, I'm still colouring. Bit of an exaggeration, that. I've got my grandson coming tonight. His mum's on nights for the next two nights. I'm just off to university again next year to do a course on high dependency for children. Right, with the old olive dark and anywhere where the flower rests over the leaf I just go around the edge and place in a shadow and what we're also going to do is just colour where there's lines from the stamp. Ooh, try hitting the lines. Just to make him stand out a bit more. This one, with it being a big leaf. And to this one.
so quiet, aren't I? Concentrating. Ooh, and that line there. do that. Now for the flower, what I do, I got the brush end and all I did was up. I didn't go right up and I followed some of the lines down. did colour the folds in. Right, that's a fold over. And no, that's not. I think I quite like it in blue. That's a fold over. And then I got the darker and just went round the bottom here. And obviously I did all this in petal pink, so... And that is it. That's all I've done. And then I placed yeah, that on there. But did I? Oh yeah, I coloured the yellow. The middle end. So I have got here also saffron. Sorry about that, it's my daughter ringing. Um, where were we? I was messing about with this while I was talking to her on the phone. Right, we've just got to colour in the branch. Let me just do that in smoky slate. And this one. Smoky slate? No. Um, soft suede. There we are. And that will sit on there. Like that. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, I think it does. I think the blue looks nice as well as the pink. 
Now we have to stamp the sentiment. And with our happy birthday and our black ink, we will stamp that just there. And, oh, I never said. That's nice. These, I did two, in case I made a mistake. Uh, these come out of Sailing Away, the labels. So, they'll come in handy. I won't waste it. And that will sit on there like that. Very nice, I do like that. I don't know if you can see it down there, but yes, I do like that. So let's put this card together, shall we? Right, we need dimensionals on the back of that. I'm not going to put them on that at the moment because no me, I put them in the wrong place. Right, I've got bits here. Use these up first before I open up a new packet. leaf and I can't do that right I think I'm gonna have to open up in the last bucket one in half. That bit on the stem. Yes. I'm going to keep them out. Right. That's the inside bit. That needs chopping down. that down. Right, let's take all these backings off. Half an hour later. Over 
this bit here so I'm going to do that so we need dimensionals along there and a bit of glue in the middle and all that's left now is some gems so with my bokeh tool and some gems Let's, where did I put them on this one? Right, I put three up here. But I'm only going to put two, I think. One here. Two here. four five six seven that's it odd and there is our six by six say it's five five and seven eighths card I do like the blue I think it looks really nice I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to press the like button.